hair butter is great for adding and sealing in moisture to your natural hair in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this creamy hair butter from rosemary clove and fenugreek to achieve this shiny looking hair stay tuned hey it's me hi guys susan here our first ingredient is rosemary i use rosemary a lot that's why i have this little next up is clove and then we have fenugreek seeds now these ingredients on their own are very very good for hair growth so i want to mix them together and see the kind of result i'll get you need a carrier oil of choice i'm using coconut oil and of course shea butter you can go ahead and use any butter you like now i'm going to mix all of this in a blender to make it into powder form rosemary is great for soothing the scalp improving blood circulation it decreases shedding and heals scalp wound fenugreek prevents hair loss it revives damaged hair it fights dandruff and it controls scalp inflammation clove 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 helps to stop premature growing of the hair it treats lice and dandruff and it helps to strengthen the hair follicles so now i'm going to blend all of this to powder yes after blending it i'm adding it into a bowl or a plate whatever you have that you're going to use for mixing i am using this stainless plate this is what it looks like it's not so smooth you just need it roughly blended now i'm going to add my coconut oil you can use any other oil of your choice either olive oil jojoba oil almond oil whatever you have this is what i had and this is what i'm using next up i'm going to be adding our shea butter you can also use cocoa butter or mango butter but shea butter works fine so i'm going to use two big scoops this is just me eyeballing it now i'm going to be doing the double boiling method just so that i don't take away all the nutrients from my herbs or kill all the nutrients from my herbs so in a pot of water i'm going to add that stainless bowl in it and watch the heat from the water do its job now i'm going to keep stirring and stirring till the butter slowly melts with the oil and the herbs in it now at this stage i just decided to reduce the heat of my gas because you don't want too much heat too much heat is going to end up killing the nutrients that you need from those herbs At this point I kept stirring and stirring till my shea butter melted completely. now that is completely melted i'm just going to turn off my gas and take it off the heat the next thing we are going to be doing is straining this oil so i'm going to use my trusty dusty recap yes i use recap to strain my oils i'm going to add the oil make sure you give it a good stir because most of the nutrients and the herbs are going to settle And guys this thing smells amazing like the entire kitchen was smelling so nice I really really liked the way the kitchen smelled didn't have any bad or offensive smell now this is hot so that's why I'm doing my hands like this because I was so scared to squeeze it was really hot you need to squeeze it at this point not very hot that you can't touch it but it needs to be hot 
now i have gotten all the oils out and this is what is left we are going to trash this this is now trash you don't need this again i'm going to go ahead to transfer it back into that stainless bowl i used in the first place i'm going to put it in the freezer yes put it in the freezer for a few minutes like maybe one hour to two hours depending on how your freezer works 30 minutes later i brought it out and this is what it looks like now it's not supposed to be like this it's supposed to be a little bit harder than this but i didn't wait i was impatient and i decided to whisk it now guys please note this is the wrong attachment to use for your hand whisk i couldn't find the regular one and this is what i found so i just went ahead to use it and it was not giving me what i wanted maybe because the butter was not hard enough or i was using the wrong attachment to the hand mix but i went ahead to leave it in the fridge overnight and this is what it looks like now it was creaming just like i wanted it to be just like a butter but it was taking time to dissolve and cream properly because again i'm using a wrong attachment to this hand mixer but we kept on going and it came out looking really really nice very soft very fluffy very creamy After some minutes of creaming consistently, this is what it looks like. It's very lightweight, very soft, very fluffy. I expected it to be thicker than this, but maybe my carrier oil was too much. So next time, it's either I increase my butter or reduce my carrier oil. But aside that, I like the way it looks. It's very creamy, very soft, very fluffy very lightweight it looks like ice cream or yogurt to eat it please i went ahead to cream it just one more time one more time finally this is the consistency we have there is no lumps anywhere it is very smooth very creamy i'm going to be transferring it into this container i poured it into a ziploc bag and i'm going to be using it to pipe it nicely into this container it reminded me of icing cakes it's been a while since i iced cake i will do that very soon but anyways i just piped it into the container nicely you can see that it's very light it does not have weight it's not so thick it looks like your regular cream like your regular lotion So I'm going to store it up in this container for my moisture routine. 
this is a section of my hair after i applied the butter you can see that it's shiny and very soft this is what the butter looks like this is the texture and consistency very soft very lightweight and i'm going to show you how i use it to moisturize my hair i use it as the last stage in my moisture routine so for moisturizing i use my rosemary and clove spray i go ahead to use my leave-in conditioner and then i seal it with this hair butter you can see that shine look at that shine so beautiful it's going to make your hair so so moisturized and remember to comb from your ends to your roots make sure you focus this butter mostly on your ends because that's the oldest part of your hair and it needs more love and care and attention okay and please and please comb from your ends to your roots this butter will leave your hair moisturized for three days straight if you do it exactly as i've said it use it as the last stage in your moisture routine your hair is going to stay moisturized for three days straight now i'm going to be twisting my hair my hair is going to stay in this twist till i'm ready to do my next protective style Can you see that shine guys can you see that shine i highly recommend that you try this butter out and use it for your hair at least do this two times a week if you know you're carrying your hair out do this moisture routine two times a week and you see great great results This is what my hair looks like after i hope you guys liked it i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys